What is up, YouTube? Culture Dog, Sam Hatch, back with some more James Bondage. And uh, I definitely learned my lesson from missing out on some of the 2012 Bond book releases when uh, the 50th anniversary happened and Skyfall came out. So I was smart enough to pretty much pre-order everything that looked interesting that was coming out in time with Spectre. So one of the books I got recently is... Uh, Bond versus Bond, The Many Faces of 007 by Paul Simpson. It's funny, I'd seen this uh, artwork on Amazon and thought, eh, it looks like some sort of fan-made pamphlet, but it's actually a really nice hardbound book. And uh, this one's tact is that it's coming at the uh, series from the perspective, or, or at least from the, uh, the angle of examining all the different actors who played Bond. But, yeah, it's a bit of, yeah, same old, same old, just uh, <laughs> another good excuse to celebrate the uh, Eon series. And again, it's always appreciated when there's some love given to the Ian Fleming era. But uh, I still haven't uh, finished this one because I just got a ton of books at the same time. So I'm kind of uh, multi-reading <laughs> and multitasking. But uh, it looked a lot nicer than I uh, than I anticipated. So I'm very glad to have that. Also got this very nice book from Frederick Brune called James Bond Cars. And uh, I had to wait a while for this. This was supposed to be out, uh, I don't know, maybe in October. And it uh, came out maybe at least a week later than anticipated. And it gets into the, the vehicles, not just cars either, of the series from a, a very, you know, hardcore, as Top Gear would say, petrol head kind of attitude which is cool and uh, it's far more in depth than the uh, quick you know, Bond cars segment in other books. The only problem is it's translated from the writer's French and is loaded with you know, grammatical errors and typeset errors. So you'll have to forgive a lot of those, but you're really not going to be probably too worried about the text in this thing. You're just going to be checking out. I do like that they, they kind of come at the cars from the perspective of, of characters. So, you know, there's the seducers and, <laughs> you know, the women and their cars. And uh, that was pretty cool. You know, villainous cars and that sort of thing. Um, very nice book. And yeah, it gets into spaceships and all sorts of other stuff too. Then uh, I had to get this, a photo book, not from uh, Greg Williams, but Rankin, Behind the Scenes of Spectre, Blood, Sweat, and Bond. Very nice DK book. Like the... Uh, Spectre Octopus there on the binding. I guess Rankin is a collective of uh, photographers, so it's not just one photographer's work, but... If you uh, enjoyed the Bond on set books, yeah, you'll definitely want to pick this up. Nice. And speaking of that 50 years of uh, James Bond movie posters book that DK put out that I mentioned in the last video, I had to get this. 
Bond by Design, the art of the James Bond films. And uh, huge fan of Ken Adams' work and uh, everybody that uh, had put their time and energy into making villainous lairs and and Fleming's world come come to life on the screen. But yeah, it's got a cool slip cover. A little Day of the Dead action from Spectre on the back. Some uh, Ken Adam drawings of Dr. Nose Lair. There's some uh, posters there on the inside. And uh, just tons of in-depth shots of the sketches and blueprints and matte paintings and it's cool to see how things change as, as time progresses and it gets away from the you know the simple Ken Adams sketches <laughs> a snooper dog nice Yeah, things start to get a little more modernized and in-depth. But uh, not much for Spectre, because this came out before the film dropped, but there's at least a little reference there. But yeah, it talks about Sid Kane and Peter Merton, Peter Lamont, Dennis Gassner, Alan Cameron, and Sir Ken Adam. Great release. So... I'm still uh, looking for those few Bond on set books and a few other things. Uh, the one thing, if I could consider it a holy grail for books, would have to be the James Bond archives that Tashin put out for 2012. And uh, I wish I could have gotten a hold of it, but it's just, oh, wait. Yeah. It's the only James Bond book that comes in a freaking carrying case. When you want a coffee table book, don't settle for anything else. Let it also be coffee table sized. This thing uh, needs its own video for sure. So I'm just going to tease you with the uh, going to tease you with the box there <laughs> and think about that thing. And uh, yeah, we'll get into that in another video. So uh, thanks for hanging out, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the James Bond uh, library continuing. And uh, we'll be back shortly. Cheers.